Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to uh, replace the front axle. We show you the passenger side. The driver's side is pretty much the same, uh, the same procedure. And this is on a 2003 Honda Odyssey, same as a 1999 to 2004 Odyssey. And you'll need a new axle from 1AAuto.com, jack and jack stands, 36 millimeter socket with a breaker bar or ratchet and pipe. Uh, also an impact wrench would work if you have one of those, um, but most people don't have the impact stuff. 19 millimeter socket or your lug wrench, 17 to 18 millimeter wrenches, pliers, a pick or a small screwdriver, a hammer, or and a large pry bar or something similar. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got the vehicle raised up and I'm removing the lug nuts with my um, impact wrench. If you don't have an impact wrench, you want to start with the vehicle on the ground, loosen the lug nuts with a 19 millimeter socket and breaker bar or your uh, tire iron, then raise and support the vehicle and remove the lug nuts and wheel the rest of the way. And you can see here I'm kicking the tire. Um, that's basically just a way if your tire or your wheel is a little bit frozen on because of the aluminum, um, just give it some good kicks and break it loose and then you can remove the tire. Uh, use a hammer and a punch or some other type of impact tool and try and straighten out the dimple that is in uh, the axle nut. Now that we have removed the little dent in the nut here, we need to get this nut off. And you can do this a few different ways. The easiest way by far is with an air gun. Um, but you could also have somebody sit in the car and hold the brakes and put a ratchet with a socket on there and loosen it with a big Using pliers and a, a small ratchet. pick or um, a screwdriver, today, uh, remove we're the use an air pin gun. that holds the uh, ball joint nut. Okay, I'm going to speed up here together. as Jeremy just a extra force uh, on this. takes that nut all the way off. And that nut is generally a 17 millimeter. Yeah, it could see. be an 18 millimeter though as well. Well, once the nut is off, I actually <laughs> like to put it back on again, uh, a few threads, just because we're going to be breaking these two separate from each other, and I don't like anything to happen too suddenly, so if you have the nut on there, it keeps anything from getting too crazy over here. This is an air-activated pickle fork. Uh, they sell them to be used with a hammer as well. The hammer ones you just put right here and you hit on the end with a hammer. This one, like I said, is air activated, so it's uh, powered by air. Put it right in here. And as you can see, it separates the ball joint. Now I'll grab a pry bar, put it in the lower control arm, and pry down, and take the nut off of the lower ball joint. Hopefully pry down enough to pull it out of the knuckle. Now use a screwdriver or some other narrow tool to push the axle through as you pull the steering knuckle out. Uh, now use a large pry bar or some other type of long tool. Access the uh, engine or transmission end of the axle and Ready? Yeah. Uh, tap it out.
Okay, right. there's nothing wrong with our original axle, we're just doing this to show you. So then you put it back up into place and get it to lock in place. You can put the nut on the ball joint now. So we'll tighten this down and make sure that the pin will slide through the castle nut. And I think we're pretty close. Yep. So now you just push the pin on and wiggle it, make sure it's tight. Okay, then put the nut back on and you can just kind of tighten it preliminarily. You do need to torque it once the vehicle is back down on the ground. Put your wheel back on and start all your lug nuts just by hand first. Um, and then while the vehicle is still in the air, just kind of preliminarily tighten them with your suck and ratchet door as I'm doing with my impact wrench. Now again, use your torque wrench and you want to tighten your lug nuts uh, between 95 and 100 foot-pounds and use a star pattern as you tighten. We're going to torque this uh, axle nut to 180 foot-pounds now. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.